Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here to talk to you about some of Dapper's new releases as well as the sale exclusively for Glam Finds viewers. I'm going to talk to you guys about six fragrances that I just got, um, and I kind of will tell you like where I rank them in terms of how much I love them. Before I even do that, this by far is my favorite package that I've ever gotten from Dapper. I, by far, I did express that I was really into rose. Not all of these are rose, not all of these are floral, but these are bangers. I'm gonna tell you which ones are the strongest as well because I know you guys do wanna know that. I'm like you, I get it, I really like to wear bangers, especially now that we can go out. I am really planning on wearing some of these when I go out. I'm really excited about these fragrances and their performance and telling you about them and let's start. So I don't really know which one to start with. So I'm gonna start with one that I actually have the original of uh, in terms of a sample. I've had it for a while and I've been meaning to get a full bottle but I'm not gonna get it anymore because this is gonna work for me and it's going to be Dapper's version of Parfum de Marly Casili which is a nice fruity floral fragrance, and I really liked it. I got a sample from fragrancebuy.ca uh, during one of their promotions, and I was like, okay, I gotta eventually get this. It was out of stock at the time, came back in stock. It's pretty expensive, so I was like, I'm gonna hold off, because I got some other stuff I wanna pick up first. It's so refreshing. I feel like a guy could pull it off. I mean, I even mentioned that in the video, um, that I feel like a guy could pull it off. There's a lot of fruity florals that I feel like are really unisex. I really feel like everything is unisex, but I've asked other people and they felt like this one could be pulled off by a guy. Again, if you're a guy that doesn't like fruity florals, probably not so much, but if you do, I really think if you can wear things like bitter peach, I can't imagine why you couldn't wear Casili. I mean, it's also kind of vanilla. -like. The fruits are gonna be more potent and the florals but I mean, it has like plum, frangipani, which I feel like is like a sweeter floral note. I really, really like that one. It has red currant. I feel like those are just things that in my opinion are really unisex, but either way, this one, this is the only one that I've actually smelled the original of before. And to me, it hits really close. This is just a lot stronger. Um, again, it's an extract to parfum, so obviously it is what it is. Next, I really don't know which one I'm gonna do next. So I'm just gonna do Parfums de Marly Pegasus Exclusive. And I think this one is not at all what I thought it was going to be. I really thought that this was gonna be a super heavy fragrance because it's Pegasus plus Oud, right? That's not what this one comes off as. Because of the concentration of each of the notes that ends up being put into this, the fresh notes stay throughout the life, which makes this a lot more versatile to me. Yeah, you're gonna get the almond, you're gonna get vanilla, you're gonna get woody, you're not really gonna get oody. A little bit of spice, you got some cardamom, some fresher notes, and that amber, this is so good. This is the one I haven't spent the most time with because this weekend I was going for kind of things that were a little bit fresher, but I'm definitely wearing this one this week when I go out. I really like the vanilla in here, I really like the amber in here and the almond and I feel like that woodiness is nice, but for me, the fact that it's all kind of brought together with that freshness that keeps on going, I really like fresh fragrances, you guys already know that. And I really like the, the spiciness from the cardamom in here. I love cardamom. I think everybody loves cardamom. It's a really tough note to hate. If you do hate it, you can let me know why, because again, it's like a really nice, warm, spicy note. I feel like it's it's just really nice, especially when it comes in that warm spicy versus that green cardamom. I really like it. It might be what I wear today. I'm not 100% sure yet. I take a really long time choosing as you guys probably also do. Next. So this next one, I didn't originally think I liked because the first couple times I smelled it off of paper, I was picking up this like kind of earthy note that I can't smell anymore, which is so funny. It was the first couple of sprays and I can kind of pick it up maybe off the atomizer a little bit now, but whatever it is, it's gone and I don't get any of it on my skin. And it's going to be Dapper's version of Dior Tobacco Color. And actually I think the sticker on this is the coolest one out of all of them. So this, 
I did not think I liked initially, but I wore it and oh my God, it did so well on my skin. This fragrance is like, it's got a little bit of wet tobacco, but it's mostly a nice dry tobacco, sweetened with honey, but just a little bit. I thought it was gonna be really sweet and I was kind of nervous about it, but I think that Dirty Note is from when that to dry tobacco originally kind of comes out, but within like minutes it's dry and it turns into this really nice dry tobacco with the sweetness of honey and some fruitiness. And I love it. And what I really love about it, actually I really love this a lot, but I love that it's such a compliment beast on me. I got, I think, three compliments within the first hour of people being around me, and I thought that was awesome. This might be my favorite out of all of them, tied with another one, but it just smells so good. If you think maybe something with a little bit of fruitiness and a nice dry tobacco mixed in with just enough honey to make it sweet, could be for you. This, out of all of them, I think would be the safest blind buy and I think the other thing that would make it a safe blind buy because a lot of you guys won't touch anything that isn't a beast. I used five sprays of that and it kept going my entire work shift and I got compliments throughout the entire thing. To me that's a big deal. I really like that. I love, I love a good performer and I know you guys do too because I feel like sometimes when things give you good longevity but not good projection, you guys won't even touch them, which I get because you're spending money on these fragrances, you don't want them to not perform. 100% I'm with you. If you are looking for a performance beast, just get to that color. It's so good, right down the center unisex. So good, so good. Again, this one keeps a good amount of freshness throughout the life of it. The fruitiness I don't feel like is overwhelming. I think you're gonna get more of the dry tobacco with the honey than anything, but I think it's really versatile. Maybe I wouldn't reach for it in high heat, but to be completely honest, if I was going to like brunch or something and I knew it wasn't gonna be too bad, I'd still wear it. Not exactly gonna be a beach fragrance or anything like that, but I think you could get away with it a lot more than you would imagine. Next. This next one originally was the one I liked the most, but now I am having a really hard time deciding, and it's going to be Dapper's version of Clive Christian's Rock Rose. This is a very fresh fragrance with a little bit of pepper to keep that spice up and a little bit of warmth. And this out of all of these is the Swiss Army Knife fragrance that I think you could wear as a signature scent and nobody's gonna dislike. This one, I think out of everyone who smelled all of these, cause you know, my, my people like to smell my fragrances Everyone loved this one. And I mean, everyone loved this one. It was the favorite out of all of them. Actually, these were all very lovable by everyone, but this was number one. Everyone chose this as their number one. And it isn't as loud as Tobacco Color or the next one that I'll be talking about, <laughs> but it's good. And it's got that warmth, it's got a little bit of spiciness, and it's got a ton of freshness. What it doesn't have, which is really ironic, is Rose. Yeah. Rock Rose doesn't have rose. I didn't know that, but when I smelled this, I was like, I don't smell any rose. I wonder like maybe if it's a different kind of rose. So I checked out the notes and I was like, oh, well I'll be darned, there's no rose in Rock Rose. But it's a Swiss army knife for real. I feel like this could be a trademark date night scent. Um, it's got pretty much all of the purple notes, right? So lavender, sage, violet leaf, Super fresh, super duper fresh. Amber cacao kind of warms it up a little. The cacao is not super prominent, but you will smell it if you're looking for it. The amber is definitely, definitely there. And you're gonna get a nice clean vetiver. So it's not a dirty earthy vetiver. I'm not a big fan of that as you guys already know. I am trying to wear more of that just to kind of get used to it, but this is nice. It's clean, it's safe. A little bit patchouli, clean patchouli again. Such a fresh fragrance this is. Definitely try this if you're looking for a blind buy that you just know people are going to like. Next. So this next one, I'm just gonna get right into it, is going to be Parfums de Marley, Delina a la Rose. Which I didn't think was gonna be such a performer, but it is. Uh, I sprayed it on me at the gym, two sprays. 
and it kind of kept going. I came home, I ran a couple errands, it just kept going. It's got a little bit of powderiness, it's got a little bit of fruitiness, and it, it's a fresh rose. It's kind of a sweeter rose, not ultra fresh, um, but it's not jammy, because I feel like a lot of times you get a jammy rose, this isn't that. It's got a little bit of a fruitiness to it. I think that's what sweetens it, but it's got a really refreshing vibe. Uh, it's like a watery vibe to it. I think it also has aquatic notes, which I think is what makes this so fresh. The powderiness is not overwhelming. I've worn this high heat multiple times and it just does so well. So in my opinion, if you're looking for a rose fragrance that you could pull off outdoors, this one, probably three sprays, kind of get you going all day. It performs way better than I thought. Initially I sprayed a bunch on and then I went nose blind to it. And I was like, oh man, no, people smell it. And later on, I started catching whiffs of it. So this one, if you want a really refreshing rose that's nice, it's sweet, a little powdery, this is exactly what I would reach for. It smells amazing. The juice color is amazing. Easy, easy blind buy. It, it just smells pretty, guys. Next. So although Dior Tabac Color is a huge performer, this one, this one. Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. Holy cow, this thing is a performance monster. I told my friend who I was going out with Friday night that I got some new fragrances and there's one with a marshmallow note that she was gonna really like. She was like, I can't imagine what a marshmallow note would smell like in fragrance. And I was like, okay, well, we'll just see. So she comes by before we go out. I let her spray, smell all these on, on paper. And as she picks this one up, I didn't tell her what anything was cause she's not really like a fragrance, you know, enthusiast. She does like fragrance. All my friends are into it now, but she smells this one and she's like, oh my God, is this the marshmallow one you were talking about? And I was like, yeah. She's like, this is so good. I get it now. And it is the marshmallow note to me is the one I smell the most. It's nice, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's fluffy. And this is such a monster. Two to three sprays as a club banger. What fragrance do you have two to three sprays you can wear and go out to a club and people notice you? This one, and I'm so stoked to be able to wear this now that everything is opening. Like this came into my life just in time. I mean, it just came out um, the Monday of this week. So it's really new, but it is amazing. If you think you might like a marshmallow note, guys, give this a shot. It's so good. It probably leans feminine if you're into super masculine fragrances, but if you don't care and you just want something that's a compliment magnet and is gonna perform, Love Don't Be Shy Extreme is so amazing. I'm not kidding. I promise you will, you will come back and comment on this video and tell me that I was right. In fact, about all of these, again, the two strongest, like biggest performers, Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, Dior Tabac Color. If you were just gonna get two based on performance, just get them. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. Let's talk about the sale. Friday through Sunday of this week, I'll post that right here, the, the exact dates, cause you know, if you are watching this way in the future, it's not gonna work. You're gonna get 15% off if you watch this channel. All you gotta do is use the code GLAM15. I'm gonna post that right here. You will get 15% off your entire order. I would like to thank Travis for doing this. Um, I asked if we could get a coupon code for my subscribers and he agreed to it, uh, which is very generous of him. Guys, try these fragrances. If you have any questions, if you kind of want me to help you, guide you in the right direction for what's gonna work for you, comment down below. If you guys haven't noticed, I answer everything. I don't mind, especially if you haven't tried this house and you kind of want a little guidance. I'll also drop his Facebook group down below because um, it's kind of cool. A lot of people ask others about what they think about certain fragrances. And the really cool thing is if you ask, you're gonna get a lot of different opinions and you can kind of see what's gonna work better for you. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel if you're not already. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.